after school and on weekends. Whee! It's destination downtown for kids and parents in the Fulton area. For years, city leaders envisioned a downtown park. Three years ago, we decided to put the money to get it started, but all we had budgeted for it was about $100,000 to just get something very simply started. That's when Michael and Julie Waldorf, successful attorneys with ties to the area, offered to fund what became Play Garden Park. The $1.7 million project features playground areas, benches and tables, a gazebo, and a huge fountain with a sculpture representing two driving forces of any economy, currency and home ownership. Mayor Walker says Play Garden Park has prompted a revitalization of downtown. When this thing has been added on, we've kind of seen the town come back to life. And that has been good for nearby businesses. Lily's Cafe. Jeff Langley owns Lily's Cafe on the town square. There was a time when we first opened and the park was not here and um, at times it was kind of dead, seemed, seemed, seemed kind of very, very quiet. And uh, now it is used at all hours, at all different times. And, and it's nothing like hearing a child's laughter and hearing ch children running and playing. And, you know, it's, it's just brought a positive enthusiasm, I think, to the downtown area. On this day, Erin Connor was enjoying the weather and watching her two kids frolic in the fountain. We love the park. The kids come um, all the time. What do you think about the park? It's awesome. No doubt that is a sentiment shared by many others. Besides renewing a sense of pride in the community, Play Garden Park is also credited with being an economic shot in the arm for this area. Overall sales tax revenues for downtown merchants are up about 5% over last year. Many believe that this park will play a major role in the area's social, recreational, and economic life for generations to come. In Fulton, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.